So John, what do we have here? So what we've got here is a rolling style aerator. It's a multi-tyner. So the idea behind it is it's um, a bit lighter than some of the other units that are out there. It's a bit easier to get in and out of your van, it's a bit easier to get to, to your job. Um, we've got one-way bearings on here. So it makes it easy to manoeuvre. So when you're actually in your work and you're um, trying to manoeuvre around your lawns or you've got borders to go around, you can turn it nice and easy while you're still aerating. Um, we're then going to make it nice and easy to change your tines. So you can, um, with this series of spaces in here, you can undo your um, end fixing and these just slide off. So you can change from one style to the other in uh, minutes nice and easily. Um, gone for the um, four wheels on the unit, so yep. again you can um, get it in and out of your vans nice and easy, you can get up and down curbs easily, um, it gives you a bit more um, stability, and, as I say nice and easy to manoeuvre, and then you've got your height adjustment, um, so you can lower it into the ground nice and easily, yep. raise it. And, and how many times, will it just be the four times or will there be more? You'll be able to adjust that as you want for the job. So yep. we'll have some spaces in there that allow you to fit four, six, eight, as many as you want to put in there, the kind of pattern, the kind of whole pattern you want. Yep. Um, and as I say, we're going to have a lot of different times available. Um, yeah. And what, does it have a name yet? It's the Karen multi -tiner. It hasn't got a model name multi yet. multi okay. Will, um, and when will, this, when will this be released, do you think? So that'll be probably springtime in the new year. It's uh -huh. that kind of time frame at the moment. Wow. Well, it looks pretty cool to me. Yeah. Great, and is there, any, is there anything else new today, or is, or is this...? Um, on the Cannon side, no, probably not as, maybe as interesting for you as, as, as for other people. We've got um, a new BCS unit that we're launching, yep. which is a hydrostatic model. Um, so you've got a um, nice lever here for your forward and reverse. It's easy to use, six speed away. Got a really nice anti-vibration handlebars on it. Yep. Um, Really nice and easy to use, good with flailing and this particular uh, attachment, you've got a rotavator attachment. Yep. Um, which has, particularly interesting for landscapers, you've got um, a rear roller option for the rotavator box now, um, which gives you much more precise depth control. So if you're going to a job and you're putting topsoil down, you only want to dig down an inch or two, you can do that with this. You can set so you're just tickling the surface, but you can still dig down seven inches in it. Wow. Zero. And that's that's uh, battery on it, so that's a no, that's ignition? just a toolbox actually. Oh, is it? That you can does, get it does a, look like a battery. It does, yeah. Um, you can get an electric start option, and then the battery does sit there in place of this. Right, toolbox, okay, so, yeah. okay. Um, so, yeah, we're excited about this unit. We'll be launching probably in the new year. Available. Yeah, and the so that is a Camon so air uh, rotavator. I've not seen that. Yeah, so. Um, We've manufactured a tiller for many years. We had to uh, stop for a reason, but we're relaunching it. Updated model, um, manufactured by us. It's the, the Canon C22. Yeah. Um, really robust <laughs> tiller, full landscapers. Yeah, yeah it's a uh, nice and GT. Um, we've manufactured the gearbox in here. So it's all done by us. Yeah. And these wheels look new on the, going onto the so turf cutter. On the turf cutter, we've always had the option of an agricultural style. Oh, okay. Um, and so we thought we'd just put them on the front just to show you, but you can get ags for the rear. So if you're um, cutting to remove and you're never relaying, the ags are brilliant. You get a lot more traction. Yeah. If you're cutting to relay sometimes, then the standard tires are better. Obviously. Yeah, I guess, I guess, you know, for me personally, I've done jobs where you're cutting and you're going uphill yeah. and you're slipping and you're wheel spinning a bit. Yeah. And ultimately, if you are turfing, then you're going to be um, rotivating anyway, potentially. Yeah, so you're normally cut into a move. It doesn't matter, does it? Yeah. So the ags do make a good difference. Yeah, but then I guess if you're if you're cutting to then level, say, yes. then yeah, you wouldn't want to mess the turf up. Yeah. So it's uh, that's that's pretty cool. And then the only other thing that we've just updating fully for this year after customer feedback is we have the option on our new scarifiers of the wider wheels again. Okay. So we had a lot of customers who wanted narrower wheels for their scarifiers to get closer to the edge of the lawn. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then feedback over time that we had, especially if people are scarifying this time of year when it's a bit wetter, is they did like the old wheels because it gave you, um, it wasn't digging into the lawn as much, it made it easier to, to, to move, especially when the grass is wetter or the ground is wetter. Okay, so okay. So we do have that back as an option, so you can have either wheel, so either yeah. the wider or the narrower. Because I would say the game changer for me 
when I look at all scarifiers, yeah. was those wheels yes. and the scrapers. Yeah. So, I, you know, I have other brands of scarifiers yeah. and the biggest pain is that you have to regularly stop to, to scrape up. the wheels sure. off because obviously whatever height you're cutting at yeah. or, or uh, scarifying at, you lose that height instantly. Sure. And if it's that then. wet that that's an issue, I'm not sure whether you should be scarifying Indeed. anyway. <laughs> um, that'd be my thought on it. Yeah. Um, but no, that's cool. And then of course you've got in place the three of a number of tine options. You've got the blades, the, yeah. the hollow tine. Um, the other option we've done um, this year, which we're going to introduce, is we've got an adjustable backboard actually to go lower. And so yeah. what that does for you is it will um, produce more holes in the ground. Yeah. So it means so that the, the, the tines um, don't walk as far. So the lower you put the backboard, yeah. then it walks far. You get more holes in the ground, um, and you get a slightly neater hole as well because you're um, you're exiting and entering the, the, the hole at a, a, a steeper angle. So, yeah, yeah, that uh, sounds brilliant. That's yeah. the that's when we had the discussion of the speed of it. Yes. And obviously you can go faster. Yeah. But actually, sometimes I think, particularly if you're going to overseed, yeah. then you want as much contact with soil as possible. So therefore, you exactly. want as many holes as possible. Yeah. So that's so you, that so sounds great. You've got some great. adjustable spaces here. Yeah. And there's actually another. Spot are they on there now? Are they? They are. Yeah. So you've got these three spaces. Yeah. So there's okay, two, two above yes. and one below. So you could put three above and you could drop it down another. another oh wow! Well, yeah. No, that sounds brilliant. That's great. And it, yeah, you do. You can physically see. So it, it will um, go over the ground slightly slower. But I think for most people that's not a problem. But yeah. it will get more holes in the ground. Yeah. I mean, there's a there's a difference, isn't there? It depends yeah. what you're doing. If you're looking yeah. to just smash a, a big area, whack some holes in there, yeah. then that's that's one thing. But actually, if you're looking to aerate more so. If you're doing a green, say, you know, if you were to do a, a, a golf green or a, sorry, not a golf green, but a, a, a croquet lawn or a, um, yeah. a bowling green, perhaps, yeah. then you would, you know, yeah. time isn't actually too much of an issue. It's the what yeah. you're doing that you, you want to be able to achieve and have those options. So we've got most of the time options on here. We've got the corers, you've got the 15 millimeter times. Yeah. And, and then the blade. Um, there's no one in there. There's then no you've got pencil. your chisel time. Yeah. Um, that's the 40 millimeter chisel time. So that is great for slitting your lawn, and you'll get um, so cut through your grass roots, um, get nice aeration with it, but it leaves a very clean hole again. So you're yeah. getting a nice, nice clean hole. There'll be a video of it in a minute, but um, yeah, so the, they've become more and more popular this year. Yeah, I, I've, I've, see, I've seen them on social media yeah. uh, quite often. I get tagged in these things, yeah. which is uh, <laughs> you know I, I don't mind being tagged in it. So it's uh, it's interesting to see it all happen. Well, thank you for that. That's a that is a great little tour there of all Pleasure. the new things. Thank you very much. We'll hopefully have some video, some working content of this soon as well. We'll Brilliant, yeah, videos. absolutely. I know that. Great.